friends, welcome back to my channel, or if this happens to be your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa, welcome. As you can see by the title, I finally got to go to the shops, well, everyone in Scotland who wanted to go could go, so I went to the shops, I went to, mainly just Primark to be honest, and also H&M, because I wanted to. <laughs> I actually haven't filmed in like a week and a half, maybe even two weeks. I will probably do a little bit of a life update towards the end of the video. I'll do the haul first so that those of you that are just here for the haul can see what I bought. And then I'll give you a bit of a life update at the end, I guess, if I remember to. But anyway, let's jump in to the haul. I, re I didn't get that much, but we got some stuff and we have to look at it, obviously, because it's a pre-work haul and I've not been able to do this in like a year. I'll just start at the top of the bag which is one of my favourite things and you won't be shocked, I got my Bam to Oil Cleanser, finally. I'm sure I got two of these, I don't know where the other one is. And then I also picked up another ear cuff. I already have like one that's like all stars on it from Primark, but this had pearls and I thought that it looked quite pretty and I really like my star ones. So two pounds, thought we'd try those. I literally ran out of the house at 8am this morning in order to get to the shops early. And uh, then I got myself a pair of pyjamas, in case I've not had any pyjamas in a while. This is a T and short set, this is a size small, and this cost me five pounds. I mean five pounds. I, yeah, I actually really needed some more, like, less cosy pyjamas, because I'm getting really hot in bed. And uh, I thought these looked quite pleasant. A wee t-shirt. A wee pair of shorts, won't be embarrassed answering the door in those, which is the main thing. <laughs> this is definitely Rosie inspired, if you don't know Rosie, I will link her channel up in the corner. Uh, she did a pre-work haul and she got these and she said that they're really nice. This is the, I don't know what it is, it's like a tiny little like strappy crop top, but it's like not super cropped, but it is cropped and then it's got very very thin elastic straps. I got a size extra small which is 6 to 8 because size small is like, I think it's 10 to 12 um, and that usually comes up a wee bit big on me now so that is, that is that one there. I think I got a black one of that as well. Yes, I got the same in black. I might try these on if I do. I will insert clips of me trying this stuff on but I'm pro I probably won't, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a try on haul. Cats! I also picked up these cycle shorts in this really nice pink colour because I've only got black ones and I thought I like the style but I don't want black. These were £2.50. £2.50. Did I tell you those were £3? Those those tops. I might try this stuff on, who knows. Oh, I got some socks because we all need socks at pre-work. These are like sports socks. Three pairs, these were at £3. Bargain. They're really nice and thick though and I'm quite liking the style of uh, like, like, I'm literally just home, of like taller sports socks with my trainers and leggings so got those, thought they were alright. Oh and I already have this but I got this just before lockdown and I knew in my heart I wanted another one in my heart. How dramatic. It's like a racer black body suit but they didn't have small so I got mediums which is 12 14 but that's all right because I've got kind of decent sized boobs so it should fill it I hope it won't be too big it'll be fine it'll be fine I'll try and shrink it in the wash uh, so I got it in black that was five pounds and I also saw it in this really nice like mushroomy mink color I just love the style of this it suits me really well I think I've worn it in like a million videos that black one um I've got hairs cat hairs all over my face and yeah, I just really like the style, so a tenner for two, two of these, really good, and that's a medium as well, yeah. Didn't have any smalls, which was a bit upsetting, but we'll live. Oh, I got more masks. Just because you can never do with too many masks. These are nice, they fit nice, they don't hurt me, I can still breathe, and they look kind of pretty. There's my other cleanser, see? Yay. I didn't want to buy too many because I always feel kind of bad like buying a heap. Uh, and then I got two packets of Kirby Grips or Bobby Pins if you're American, but blonde ones because I finally remembered that I have blonde hair now. And blonde hair bubbles. Once again, finally remembered I have blonde hair. And then another rosy inspired purchase is this. This is a nude underwear 
body. So I've got this in black which I actually wear as like a top, so I like wear it under like um, my mum jeans and I just think it looks really cool. So I got it in nude because I've got quite a few white shirts that I'm going to be wearing and uh, I wanted something just nude underneath that would look nice and anyway if you want, I wouldn't wear this colour probably as a top but the black one looks great as a top and it's uh, £8 if you want it, it really does hold you in, it feels nice. Ooh, um, and then I also picked up a nude strappy top which is only £1.80 for when that is in the wash and if I need to like wear something under a shirt so I mean for £1.80 I just picked it up. Boys! You're so silly! I got a shirt, a black and white striped shirt, it's long sleeved, it's just a shirt. A normal size shirt. This was seven pounds. I picked it up in size eight because it looked quite roomy. Um, so thought that'd be quite nice, and that's the kind of thing like, because especially because it's pre-work, like they're always slightly see-through. So that's really like the nude bodysuit comes in really really handy. Um, so I've got that white shirt. I hope that fits. Oh, I'm so excited about these. I hope these fit. Wireless three pack bras but in like normal colours like a nude one which is great for under anything white and black um, I'm really into not underwire now since lockdown a year ago I don't think I've worn underwire in that time am I wearing it oh I'm wearing it today thought I was uncomfortable so this was eight pounds for three bras um, I got a 38c I actually think I'm a 36c but they didn't have any so fine one of you did a poo, it smells! Nude thongs and black thongs. Definitely not trying them on for you. Oh, and then this is the last thing. The last thing from Primark is not something I wanted to buy, but I need uh, four pounds for a pair of, <laughs> what was that? Black, what are these called? Like dolly shoes, pumps? Um, Yeah, I'm gonna need them, so. Boys! Four pounds though. I mean four pounds. I don't even know if they fit me. I'm assuming they will because they're size five. That's everything from Primark. I actually have a couple of bits from Boots and TK Maxx and then we can look at H&M. So from Boots, I mean it's actually kind of pitiful because I got a meal deal and then this. So I got two of the chocolate mint nugget bars. These are amazing because it was two for 70 pence. I got two pairs of my favourite eyelashes. I wear 117s because I'm going to need these for when I'm working and uh, it was buy one get one half price and I've run out of all my other ones. So I've got two new pairs which I'm going to have to treat very gently and then I got my champagne super toner from Bleach London. That is what I use to tone my hair. I mean don't look at it right now. I've got very dark roots going on but I'm going to get rid of them and then I'll tone my hair. Uh, in TK Maxx, I was actually kind of blown away. There was Fenty, ABH, what other brands? Becca. There's just so many brands. I was like, what? How are you here? Um, so I picked up three different bits, just honestly because they were so cheap and I think there was just the excitement of actually being in a shop was like, <laughs> you know? So I picked up this, the Jouer. Um, Lucky Charmed Lip Care Essential Gift Set. This was four ninety nine. Four ninety nine for like two mini Jouer bits is just nuts. Um, I think it's like a lip mask and then maybe like a lip balm. Let's see. I don't know. They had so much Jouer. They had like ten packs of like seven or ten like heaps of like their lip creams their lip toppers for seven ninety nine. I couldn't believe the prices but I didn't love the colours so I didn't buy them I didn't think there was any point Are you okay there? Packaging is so pretty Yeah so this is the Chewy Essential Smoothing Sugar Lip Scrub Great Um. Oh Oh, I just kind of want to bite into that. Dude. Wait, 
clean that man. And also in there is the Essential Lip Enhancer and that's a really good size. They both look kind of full size to be honest. Like how big do you need a lip balm and a lip scrub to be? $4.99. Are you having a laugh? Get yourself to TK Maxx at the Glasgow Forum. Wow. Oh, he's in the bag. I also picked up Jouer Longwear Lip Topper in the shade Galaxy. Honestly, I have no idea what shade it is. I didn't open it in the shop. It was only $3.99. Wow. Okay, that's stunning. Can you see that? That is such a Jane colour. I think I'm just going to send that to Jane. <laughs> Because I don't think I would wear it, but look at that. That is so cool. They had so many of these, to be honest. And I just picked up Galaxy because I thought, I don't know what it looks like, but if I don't like it, I'll send it to someone that I know will like it. So for $3.99, I mean, not bad. And then the last thing I got was Becca. This was $5.99. And this is the Pearl Glow Lip Tint. And I got it in the shade Rose because I will be working and wearing a mask I wanted like a nice kind of tinted lip balm kind of thing to wear so I was hoping this might do the trick it's very sheer very light pink you're not gonna see it it's nice 5 dollars as well I mean that's just a bargain what is the usual price 19 pounds <laughs> Catch me paying £19 for a lip balm and you know I've gone insane. Uh, and then our last few bits are from H&M and I would have probably spent a lot more money in there but that, like H&M was so much busier than Primark um, and a lot of like mothers with big prams and I just felt like I couldn't move in the shops. I was like, Ooh. so I left. Um, but I got three things I think and they're all very worky. So I got a white shirt. It's just a white shirt. It was $12.99, yeah. That'll be good with the nude body under it because that's see-through. Dude! They're both in the pre-mark bag because it was empty. Oh, I got this because it was on the sale and it reminds me of an old jacket I used to have and wear. £14 down from 35 and it's like a tuxedo jacket. So it's got like... Um, Dude! Satin lapels. It's a blazer, a black blazer. So that'd be good for work or maybe if I'm just trying to look nice. That's a size small. We actually have heaps. £14. Are you kidding? I can't believe how cheap that was. And then lastly, I got a pair of what I think is like wide leg black trousers. Maybe I'll put on a wee work outfit and show you. Um, but yeah, I guess a lot of what I bought was just like work stuff because I haven't had an actual job in a very long time. I didn't have any clothes. Oh, they were in the sale, weren't they? Wow, eight pounds. Are you kidding? So that is all I actually got. That is probably like a really small haul considering I've not been actual shopping in a really long time, but it was absolutely heaving and I went as soon as the shops opened, um, but it still felt really busy and stressful and I don't, hold on. in a bag. What is happening? What are you doing in there? Yeah, I don't really handle big crowds or lots of people or lots of noise very well, so I was getting kind of like... <laughs> and just wanted to go sit in my car and eat a sandwich, which is what I did, so... Yeah, that's everything that I bought. If I do any try-on clips, hopefully I will have inserted them. I don't know... Get out that bag. I don't know if I'm actually going to do any, but we'll see. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the haul. I'll just do a very quick kind of life update just because I have been missing um, from my channel and Instagram and stuff. And even like my Patreon Telegram groups and stuff. I need to move that bag because they're so noisy. Come on, boys. Yeah, so I've just taken probably like maybe a week and a half, almost two weeks off doing anything, like not even posting on Instagram. Uh, the only video that's gone up on my channel was my Beauty Bay one, that's because it was sponsored so it had to be up like on a certain day at a certain time or I would have like pushed it off until I was feeling better but I um, I got put on new medication from the doctor and I think that is what's making me like 
not cool. <laughs> oh, um, I'm on, what am I on now, fluoxetine or something and I think, and I think my body is just not liking it or my brain is not liking it because I've been not really able to get out of bed most days, it's been a little bit tough. Um, also the dude I was seeing, that's now not a thing because we both like it was a mutual thing, I mean more him, but kind of mutual. It's not happening anyway, so I'm super single again. Um, what else? Oh, I got a job as well, like an actual normal job, which is why I got a lot of these work clothes. So I start work in two days time actually. I'm going to be part time in a hotel, which is not what I wanted to do, but I was desperate for a real job again, just to be around human beings because I'm getting too used to being on my own in my flat and not socialising and I feel like I'm regressing quite a lot mentally so I thought if I can go get myself a part-time job then I can still do my YouTube channel, I can have a job, meet people, be with real humans, a bit of extra money that I can buy more makeup for my channel with. Um, so yeah that's quite a big change, I've not had a proper job in like two and a half, three years now, so it's a bit weird and I'm really nervous. I start in two days time and uh, yeah, again, once again, it's a hotel, which is not what I wanted, but I know I'm good at it and I know that I can like slot in and start working immediately. I barely need any training, so <clears throat> yes, that's what's been going on. Super depressed, um, super single and got a job, so yeah, that's well, it doesn't sound all that dramatic now, but I've really not been able to pull my head out of my arse for the past like two weeks and to everyone that messaged me and I haven't replied, I'm sorry. To everyone that I should have done something for, like posted something or have forgotten, just tell me again what I need to do. Um, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that after I film this video I'll be like, oh my goodness, I'm totally back in the swing of it. Like I want to film makeup tomorrow, maybe like what I'll wear to work or something way fun, since I will be working again. I can't do that much fun stuff every single day. Anyway, that's what's been going on. Um, some family stuff as well that I don't want to go into, obviously. But anyway, yeah, that's that's what's been happening. So thank you for sticking with me if you wanted to hear all that nonsense. I'm gonna go and eat my chocolate mint bar and try on some of these clothes. Maybe I'll take you with me. Maybe I won't, depends how I feel like my body looks. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'm going to burp. It's really sorry. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Why would you want to miss this? And uh, I'm going to piss off with my Asda Diet Blue Charge. And I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!